Cockney running ground of Bethnal Green. Jack Xavier has his work cut out. This is kind of Birmingham versus London. Second city versus the capital. Who's going to come out on top? As a man who was born in Birmingham, I'm going to say, drum all the way. Snapmare takedown from Scotty Rock. An early cover. Scotty Rock looking to get on top straight away, but an escape from the headlock into an arm ringer from Jack Xavier. Scotty Rock reversal into a fireman's carry, goes for the cover again, only a one. Right back on with that headlock, again reversed by Jack Xavier, this time into a hammerlock. Scotty Rock reverses the hammerlock and into a headlock again. Jack Xavier off the ropes, pushing Scotty Rock into the rope. Shoulder block, taking Scotty Rock down. Scotty Rock sleeps, Jack Xavier over. An arm drag takedown by Scotty Rock. Jack Xavier hitting the canvas hard. Scotty Rock maintaining a hold on that arm, putting the pressure on the shoulder, trying to wrench it out of its socket to end this one early. Xavier up on his feet, into the ropes. Scotty Rock drop kick, taking Xavier down. Another lateral press, only a one count again. Jack Xavier determined not to go out so early. Scotty Rock going to the top as Cammy looks on. Flying cross body press and another cover. Two count this time, but still Jack Xavier kicks out. Scotty Rock starting to look a bit frustrated. He wants to earn his money quickly and get out of there. So knowing Sloan and Ty, I wouldn't be confident that they'd pay me. Scotty Rock sending Xavier into the ropes and a Fujiwara armbar on Xavier. Xavier making it to the rope, putting that arm in. Scotty Rock's got to break the hold or find himself disqualified. Referee Andrew Coyne right on top there. Nice work, Andrew. Good to see you've been listening to me. Scoop slam by Rock, taking Xavier down. Xavier really feeling that shoulder. A lazy leg drop and a cover. Less than a two count for Scotty Rock, not even hooking the leg. He seems to be taking this one for granted. And that's one thing you cannot do against Jack Xavier. Tempted Irish whip reserved, reversed by Xavier to a wheelbarrow by Scotty Rock, looking for the bulldog. Xavier blocks it. Release, suplex. Excellent innovation by Jack Xavier. Only a two count though. Scotty Rock kicking out, that's his experience. Rock is a six year veteran of the sport. Xavier, barely out of his rookie year, but you'd never know it to look at him. He's such an accomplished performer. But Rock, back to that Fujiwara armbar. That's excellent reversal by Scotty Rock. He's really showing he's got the goods tonight. A vast improvement on his last outing by the bad boy from Bethnal Green. We really do have some top-notch talent in the FWA, especially in this All England division that both these men compete for. Xavier sent to the outside, a huge, nasty blow to the back of his head as he came down on that wooden floor. A backdrop by Scotty Rock, and look at him, he feels no remorse. This is just a day's work to him. As Cammy tries to rouse the fallen Jack Xavier, Scotty Rock in the ring and you can see him just thinking to himself. <laughs> Xavier really hurting now. That shoulder must have taken a huge blow. And there's Scotty Rock, a somersault plancher, assisted by the top rope, taking Jack Xavier down. Xavier's shoulder impacting on that wooden floor again got to be giving him some enormous grief, some jip as they say my way. Still the head rammed into the metal barrier by Scotty Rock. He's upping the ante now. He's taking Jack Xavier on a tour of the ringside, on a tour of hard objects. But Xavier moves. It's Scotty Rock who meets hard object this time. Jack Xavier, enough guile, enough wits about him to move out of the way. Scotty Rock in Dead, colliding with the steel of the ring post. Jack Xavier reaching under the ring for something. He's found a chair. He's taken into the ring, much to the delight of the fans and the disdain of the referee. He's looking for something else. Wow! Oh! Sweet baby Jesus! Scotty Rock, baseball slide.
guided that chair into the exposed forehead of Jack Xavier as Xavier was hunting for another weapon underneath the ring. I guess you should have said he should have been happy with the chair because he got a good close up. Look at it and look at the blood. The blood is pouring from the forehead of Jack Xavier. There must have been a jagged piece of metal on that chair because it opened up Jack Xavier. Xavier is bleeding all over the campus, but Cammy, Cammy coming to the aid of her fallen comrade. Jack Xavier may be bleeding like a stuck pig, but Cammy has saved his bacon this time. Uh, uh, Scotty Rock lying in the corner. Referee Andrew Coyne checking on Xavier, and there's Cammy's patented slide into the balls of Scotty Rock. His testicles must be up the back of his throat now because Cammy's driven right into him. And yes, is this, it's the Xaviator. There it is. Cover him, Jack. One, two, three. It's all over. A three count. Jack Xavier has survived. He must have lost about half a pint of blood. But thanks to the health of Cammy, his valet, his pal, his partner in crime, He's overcome the odds and beaten Scotty Rock. Stick that in your pipe, Mark Slow. Smoke it, James Ty. And Scotty Rock, you failed. There's no bumper payday for you. It's back to the back streets of Bethel Green where you're going to have to sell your belongings to even scrape together the price of a kebab. Here we see the retro cam picture in vision as Jack Xavier delivers the, the Xaviator, a more effective finishing manoeuvre I've never seen from the man from Tipton. Jack Xavier has got it done. Jack Xavier is the winner. Join us after the break for Justin Richards versus Johnny Storm. Yes, 
made an offer there to Johnny Storm to say quit and you'll save yourself a beating. But Johnny Storm is not that kind of man. He'll stay and take his licks, but first he'll dish them out. made reference to beating Johnny Storm. That must have been in a previous life, maybe for another promotion, because it certainly didn't happen here in the FWA. And as you all know, people sitting at home in TV land, if you don't see it on Frontier Wrestling, it doesn't matter. Johnny Storm whipping Justin Richards with his own towel. Justin Richards being hoisted by his own petard taking refuge outside of the ring as Johnny Storm shows Justin Richards exactly what he can do with that filthy rag. And sweet baby, Jesus! Have you ever seen a man fly? Johnny Storm launched out of the ring into a somersault off the top turnbuckle, taking Justin Richards down. Justin Richards doesn't even know what day it is. Looking at his hair, he surely doesn't know what year it is, as Johnny Storm taking it to him once again. Richard gets the knees up, a guillotine leg drop of sorts, into the ropes. A bulldog sending the face of Johnny Storm, the beautiful face, into the mat and taking him down with a headlock. He's got that headlock cracked right in. There must be pain enormous going through the neck and the head of Johnny Storm as he's looking for a way to escape. He's forced Justin Richards to his feet. Trying to, trying to deflect the pressure. Trying to force his way out of the headlock. And up, oh, I thought for a moment that he'd almost done it. But Justin Richards has it cranked back on. A headlock takedown, bringing Johnny Storm's shoulders back to the mat. We have to be careful that both of those shoulders don't fall or referee Andrew Coyne could be making a count. Justin Richards raking the face of Johnny Storm along the coarse material that lines the ring ropes. There must be a burn there of the eyes, rather, rather like having acid thrown in your face. Ask Two-Face about that, he knows all about it. But that's Batman, this is wrestling. Let's get back to this. The crowd getting right behind Johnny Storm. They're giving Justin Richards some stick, and Richards not liking it, breaking the headlock, but going straight after that hamstring. Dropping a knee on the hamstring, that's really gonna hurt. That's gonna look pressure. And if you take Johnny Storm's leg out, he can't run. And if he can't run, he can't fly. And if Johnny Storm can't fly, Half the battle is already won. Ref, ref, look! Dean Ayers is pulling down on the head of Johnny Storm. His throat across that rope is forcing the air out of Johnny Storm's lungs. And now Justin Richards, the snap there to the rear chin lock. He's got Johnny Storm right where he wants him on the mat. He's controlling the speed of this match. If this match stays like this, almost a pure wrestling match, You've got to say that Justin Richards, with all his technical acumen, let's not forget he's a multiple time national amateur wrestling champion. With all his mat skills, he's got the beating of Johnny Storm. But Johnny Storm isn't going to allow that. I'm sure I feel it in my bones, I feel it in my fingers, I feel it in my toes. Johnny Storm will come back. Come on, Johnny, take to the air. Soar, Johnny, soar! Only then will you take Justin Richards and his bad Lionel Richie haircut down. New school will win, old school will lose. I'm about fed up of the old school. I'm going to do all I can to try and stop the old school taking over this promotion. And if that means me moving upstairs into an office position where I can keep an eye on the fashion nations of Dino Scarlo, then so be it. As Johnny Storm comes back, Johnny Storm throwing himself at Justin Richards. And a Bronco 
Roadbuster is riding the old school dancer, dancing on the ceiling, more like lying in the corner, Justin. Johnny takes Justin down to the mat with a scoop slam. Going to the top for a moonsault, perfectly executed. 6.0 from the judges, but he didn't get the job done as Justin Richards kicks out on a two. Dean Ayers really needs to go back to the drawing board here. He needs to rethink. Perhaps he can get his computer out. Although with Justin Richards, the only computer I could think that he would be using would be a Commodore. Andrew Coyne checking Johnny Storm to see if he submits as Justin Richards once again cranking on that headlock. Richards getting to his feet, dragging Johnny Storm up with him, putting more pressure on the neck and head of the Wonder Kid. But the, Johnny Storm is fighting back. He's trying to get the crowd behind him. He's going to live off the cheers of the crowd. Their chorus will ring in his ears. Fighting it, bringing him back to it, and even, even bigger. Oh, Andrew Coyne hit by a super kick from the Wonder Kid. Andrew Coyne is down. We have no referee in this match. Anarchy will reign. Anarchy will rule. As Johnny Storm reverses an Irish whip, Justin Richards throws him into the corner. A variation of the Super Rewind Hurricane Rana taking Justin Richards down. Johnny Storm can hit that from anywhere. He can hit that in any style. It doesn't matter how he hits it. It doesn't matter that it wasn't the textbook Super Rewind Hurricane Rana. The result is the same. It's taken Justin Richards down. It's a three count. Unfortunately, there's no referee. The three count was made by the Wonder Kid. And that's the weakest chair shot I have ever seen from Dean Ayers. No wonder Johnny Storm barely felt it. That's how you do it, Dean Ayers. That's how you deliver a chair. Like Consignia, Johnny Storm delivers, and he's not asking extra money for it. But Justin Richards is back up. Well, Johnny Storm was too busy trying to take care of Dean Ayers. Richards came back, but there's Johnny Storm flying, leaping like an acrobat in the circus. But he's escaping from every old, but no, he can't escape from this one, surely. It's the cross face chicken wing. It's Justin Richards' deadly submission manoeuvre. And Johnny Storm is out. Johnny Storm is out on his feet. The referee has called for the bell. It's all over. Justin Richards has won. The new school have been beaten. The old school have triumphed. Justin Richards has beaten Johnny Storm. And I can only believe that it's because Johnny Storm's attention was diverted. And there's Nikita. Nikita breaking the hold. Nikita standing up to these old school bullies. Standing up to Lionel Richie, Justin Richards. And the weakest chair shot in the West, Dean Ayers. And that's Scott Parker. Scott Parker is in the ring. Scott Parker making sure there were no shenanigans. No, no offbeat hijinks by Dean Richard, by Dean Ayers and Justin Richards. Scott Parker has made the save for his new school compadre, but it doesn't matter because Justin Richards has won the match. Justin Richards and Dean Ayers, they got the job done. They'll be dancing on the ceiling tonight. It'll be hello to a nice fat win bonus for Justin Richards and his Lionel Richie firm. This one's all over, ladies and gentlemen. It's in the history books. Johnny Storm has been beaten, but he'll live to fight another day, and he'll have revenge on his mind, as will Scott Parker and, and Nikita. I can't believe that we've seen the last of Scott Parker and Nikita in their feud with Dean Ayers and Justin Richards. We won, they lost, that's an old deal. Frontier Wrestling Alliance. Have a good week. Till next week.